Welcome families. Um, I am Miss Maples. I am your students either English 11 teacher or English 9 honors teacher. I decided to record a video so that during our time together, uh, if you have any questions, you can use the chat box to ask them and then I would be able to respond easily. And also so I could send this out to uh, families that were unable to attend and you have reference to it if you need to refer back. Um, so I'm going to be going over basic policies, ways that you can help your student be successful in my class. Uh, so feel free to uh, ask any questions that you have in chat. Okay. To introduce yourself, since I don't get to introduce myself to you in person this year, uh, in the chat box, I would appreciate if you would write your name first and last, the name of your student who is in my class, and if you can, I didn't put it on here, but the period that I have them, um, and the best memory you have from an English class, if you have a good memory, which I hope you do. So please take a second to type this in chat, your first and last name the name of the student that you have that's in my class and your best memory from an English class. Just a little bit about me. Um, I live in West Sac with my husband of 11 years named Chris and my three-year-old son, Oliver, pictured in uh, very stylish sunglasses and also doing some yoga with his stuffed kitty cat. Um, and I have three cats, which I think officially makes me a cat lady, Gracie, Lily, and Chloe. Um, I've been teaching at River City High School right here in room 309 for 13 years, I guess, except for last year when I taught from home in the closet office that I created to teach virtually. Um, I'm so happy to be back in the classroom and actually getting to interact in person with uh, your children and getting to actually lean over their shoulder and see what they're doing and help them with what they need. It is so refreshing to actually get to be with students again. So I know that there's a lot that is difficult still about this year, but I am very, very thankful to be back in my classroom with my students. Hobbies, I like to read. Obviously, I'm an English teacher. I've been doing crosswords a lot lately, which is pretty nerdy, but that fits me. Um, I like to spend time outdoors. I like to collect plants. I don't know if you can see any back here, but I have some in my classroom too. Um, but I'm a mom of a three-year-old, so mostly right now, outside of work, I'm playing dinosaurs and making snacks and managing meltdowns. So that's pretty much me. Uh, I do love to travel, although COVID has really uh, made that a little more difficult. But in the past, um, I've been to Europe a few times. My husband and I backpacked throughout Europe once. I think travel is a great thing if you can do it. When I was younger, I didn't get to, but as an adult, I've made it a priority. Um, so hopefully normal travel will resume sometime soon. I guess we all are in the unknown and we'll have to see what happens. How can you help your student be successful? So something that you can do to help support your student is talk to them about what they learned. Just discuss with them. What happened in your class? What are you learning? Um, ask to see their Google Classrooms. So I am still using Google Classroom as my primary way to get information and assignments out to students. So if you ask to see their Google Classroom, you can see what assignments they have. You can see what missing assignments they have, if they have any. Uh, so definitely use that. And check Aries because I will be updating grades in Aries. Um, I usually update about weekly. So I got a slow start. I just got my first grades into Aries today. Um, there's a lot that goes on at the beginning of the year, so I'm a little bit slower. But uh, I will be updating as often as possible. So make sure you're checking in on your student and checking their grades. So this is just an important reminder. Um, the best way that I can be successful at teaching your child is if we have a partnership. So um, 
If you're not reinforcing what I'm trying to teach students in class, like focus and perseverance and work ethic, right, and completing assignments on time, um, I'm not going to be successful with them because I only get to see them a short amount of time each day and they're at home with you. So um, please check in with your child. Please reach out to me if you see any issues, you have questions. Um, email is the best way to get a hold of me. I really am completely willing to answer any questions you have. Uh, if there's anything that you need clar clarification on, I don't mind getting the email, so please don't hesitate. And I try to get back very quickly to emails, at least within 24 hours. Maybe not on the weekend, but during the week, definitely. If you would like to receive Google Classroom updates, if you aren't added as a parent guardian in your child's Google Classroom, you can send me an email, kmaples at wusd.k12.ca.us, and in the subject line, please put parent guardian invite for Google Classroom, and then in the email, please include your student's name and your email address, and then I can go in and add you so that you'll receive notifications. Completely up to you if you want to do that. Um, but especially if you have a student that sometimes struggles with keeping up or you know does well for a while and then kind of falls off getting the notifications might be a good idea so if you get a sec um ask to see your students google classroom tonight so check their to do you can see their to do list and see if they have any assignments coming up if they have anything missing um so you can follow these instructions to do that. But again, if they can't hide from us, then we can keep them accountable and keep them moving forward. I know that last year during virtual learning, so many students struggled. And I just wanna see students do better this year now that it's much easier to get help, to remain engaged in class. So please help me help them and stay on top of them so that we can have a great year, successful, get our credits, move on. Uh, some links. So I put um, the link to the slideshow that I'm sharing with you in this video in chat. I can share it again if, if any of you need it. So there's a link to my website, um, the apps portal. So we're not using Zoom luckily anymore, but the apps portal is how your student should be logging into their Chromebooks and getting to Google Classroom and their email and all of those good things. Aries, so all of that's there. I'll go ahead and show you my website just very quickly. So the homepage has my email, phone number, Instagram, which I don't use as much now that I have Google Classroom, but sometimes I post little updates and things about me. If your student is in my English 9 Honors class, you can look here. I created a virtual classroom, mostly because it's cute and fun. Um, but it also has, if you click here, class slides by week. So the way that I organize agendas for students is each week in Google Classroom, I will post the weekly slides and then I update them throughout the week. So for example, this is this week. So I do a week at a glance so they can get a sense of kind of where we're going, although it tends to change a little bit as we go through the week. And then each day I post announcements, kind of an agenda, what they need to be doing, goals, homework. So you have access to this too. So if you're worried that your student is not being completely forthright with you about what's happening in class, you can get to this yourself. You can get to it from my website, both for English 9 Honors and English 11, where it says class slides. I guess I don't have it linked there for English 11. Down here you can find it, okay? It's also in my slideshow that I'm currently going through with you. Let's see. Back on at the, the first page, I have a link the very first slide, there's a link to those class slides. Um, 
Before we ask questions, I wanted to quickly go over uh, the class syllabus for each one. And I'll go over it a bit more after I pause because I have two different classes. So this is also linked into the slideshow, the English 11 syllabus and the English 9 honors syllabus. Your student should have brought home a paper copy of this today and a um, student information sheet for you to fill out. So view, zoom. But I just wanted to show you this quickly. So I have the term at a glance for each class. Our norms, our materials you need, how grading works, my late work policy, and a reminder about academic integrity that if your student turns in work, it needs to be their work, not copied from another student or from the internet. It's obvious, but it happens plenty. So I need to remind everyone of that. So this link is also in the slideshow. And that's, that's it for the video. So these are the links I was just talking about. Um, if there are any questions, now is the time to ask. I hope I didn't ramble too much. And um, again, please reach out if you need anything at all. Email is the best way to get a hold of me. I am here to support your student. And I look forward to having a good year, even though this is still a crazy time. Um, again, I'm just so thankful to have them in person. So thank you for listening to the presentation. And I hope you all have a wonderful evening. Ask any questions you need, or you can head out if you need to take a break before your student's next period.